Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on web automation. A very large amount of processes nowadays are based on web applications. Automating them can become very easy using Win Automation. For automations regarding web applications, there is the dedicated Web Automation group of actions that you can use. Win Automation supports the three major browsers Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, and Google Chrome. There is a dedicated action to start each browser. In addition to launching a web browser, the Web Automation group includes actions such as click link on web page, web form population actions such as populate text field on web page, and web data extraction actions such as the get details of element on web page. There is also an additional group of actions related to web automation, the direct web access actions which enable you to interact directly with the web services according to the API documentation that accompanies the respective web service. In this tutorial, we will go through an existing example, creating a process of extracting the details of all the people who live in Sacramento, California. This time, instead of generating the process automatically as we did in the web recorder tutorial, here we will complete all the steps manually. As a first action, Use the Launch New Internet Explorer action to navigate to the web page and set the instance for all the actions. Next, the City field needs to be populated. As mentioned in the Controls Repository tutorial, all web-related and desktop-related actions are associated with controls, which indicate the particular element that needs to be accessed. Thus, you will need to use the Control Repository and add the control of the City field. This control has to be inserted in the Populate Text field action. In the text to be populated, set the word Sacramento. Then, extract the selector of the drop-down list and link it with the Set Drop-down List Value action, where the CA option should be selected. As you can see, you are able to select the option both by index and text. In this case, however, use the text option. Once all the fields are populated, you should use the Click Link on Web Page action to submit those settings. Next, the contents must be extracted to an Excel spreadsheet. For this, use the Extract Data from Web Page action. In the action, by clicking on Specify Web Data to Extract, you can manually navigate to the page to select the exact values required. The same screen can be opened if you click on the Open Browser. On the Extract Data from Web Page action, you can see the three icons at the bottom. Using the first icon, you can modify the selectors used in the extraction, as well as specify the form of the data you are extracting. Now, back to the example. Right-click on any element in the table, and select the option Extract Parent HTML Table to get all the information needed. Now you can click Finish, and execute the process created. Thank you for watching.